All right, everyone. So today we're going to look at Instagram. It's the first social network that we'll deal with. But before we get to that part, we have to do one thing first. We need to ask ourselves eventually, um, is this working? Are my efforts really paying off? Am I getting followers? Am I getting activity? And it's nice to have a high follower count and likes and all of that, but then is that paying off? Am I getting traffic to my website? Am I making sales? Am I getting clients? All of those questions are answered when we start to talk about analytics. Now that term, we can see it in different ways. Um, I often use that term in this class or in um, with clients and such analytics. It's another term for it would be statistics, statistics, or insights. And there's another one that I always forget what it stands for, but there's KPI. All three of those mean the same thing. And I'm going to look up what KPI is again. I always forget. But that's all about keeping track of the data. So all of these. It's about keeping track, keeping track of things, such as how many followers, how many clicks, how many likes, how much traffic, how many sales. So it's keeping track of all of that. Statistics, insights, analytics, KPI. And there's many ways to do it, complex to easy. We're going to use one of the easier ways to do this, which is simply we're going to have a basic spreadsheet. We're going to have a spreadsheet that lists different things, and we're going to keep track of our data. Question? Uh, KPI key performance indicator, maybe? I think so. Key performance indicators. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. I just saw it, but I couldn't quite remember it. Key performance, key per performance indicators or indicator. It's what are we keeping track of? What are the indicators to keep track of our performance? There's many indicators, there's many statistics, many stats, followers and likes, traffic to the website, all of that. So all of these terms basically synonymous, they mean the similar thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a basic spreadsheet to keep track of this. We could have more complex software that keeps track of this. We might touch upon it, but at least we'll start with the basic one. And especially if you're doing this as a social media marketer to get a job as a social media marketer, you need to do this. Because like my company, for example, once a month, for a client, we provide a, we provide a printout, an explanation that says, you got this, this many number of likes. But then that resulted in this number of sales. Because who cares if you got a lot of likes? Who cares if you've got a lot of favorites, a lot of hearts, a lot of followers? Who cares? The real aspect of, of that for a company is that those likes and such translated into a sale, into a phone call, into a new job. Well, we're going to see, is what I'm doing on Instagram paying off? So we'll be keeping track of analytics, statistics, insights, KPI. And we'll do this via a free spreadsheet software, Microsoft Excel. Wait a minute, you might say, Excel's not free, it costs like $100 or something. True. But we're going to be using the free online version of it that Microsoft gives you for free. The only catch is you just need to create an account. So we're going to create a free account. We're going to have free access to Microsoft Office, which includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, other things. It's all totally free. The only catch is that you have to create an account and that it's online. So if you don't have internet access, you can't use it. But we're going to create a free account together. It's part of the next homework. And the point of this is then you're going to keep track of what are your likes, what are your favorites, what's your traffic, all of that. Any questions so far? All right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and open up any of your favorite web browsers. Just open your web browser. This will all be on the homework, but you might want to make a note. Let's go to the address office.live.com. If you took a previous class of mine, 
I probably mentioned this in that class also, you can use the same account. But if you're brand new, let's go to office.live.com. Office online. I guess they changed the address even easier. It's just office.com. Office.com, collaborate with Office Online. Save documents, spreadsheets, and presentations online in OneDrive. Share them with others and work together at the same time. So this is very cool. You might have heard something kind of like this, like Google Drive. Google Drive lets you save your work online for free. This is very similar to that. If you already use Google Drive, great. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you Office Live for this assignment. And for this assignment, you need to use it. But then when you decide to do this on your own, you can do Office, Live, or Google Drive. But the point here is that this allows you to create official Word documents, PowerPoint documents, Excel documents, all online. You can do this on a laptop, on a tablet, on a desktop. It's all free. Uh, it's got uh, Outlook email, OneNote for taking notes, and OneDrive to save everything something brand new called Sway, which I haven't looked at enough to really tell you what it is, but it's kind of like PowerPoint. It's like PowerPoint 2.0. But we, what we want to do is we're going to create some Excel documents to keep track of our data. Before that, um, on the left side here, click Get Office Online for Work. It says Get Started Now for free. So click Get Office Online for Work. No, actually, sorry. That's the paid one. Let's go back. There's a paid one. There's a free one. Not the one for work. On the top right corner. Sign in. Sign in. Yes. So at the top right corner, just click sign in. Here we go. So here, if you've got already a Hotmail account, or a, an Outlook account or an Xbox account, you can easily log in and get access to this. If you've got Gmail or Yahoo Mail or Cox at Home or whatever, you can still use your email. So here, if you've already got Hotmail, just log in. If you've got Outlook.com, just log in. If you've got Xbox, just log in. I'm going to say, like, I don't have any of those. I'm going to create an account. Let's say I've got Gmail. I can use my Gmail. So uh, I'm going to select. Sorry, if you have a Hotmail account, we can use that. Yeah, if you have a Hotmail, it'll work right away. So it says um, if you don't have an account, click sign in with a Microsoft account. And you'll say, don't have a Microsoft account? Sign up. You can get a free account. So click Sign Up Now. And it'll ask you some information to fill in. And yeah, it's a lot of information, but it's free. And here, it'll ask you on your username. If you've already got Gmail, just plug in Gmail, and this will work. If you want a brand new email address, you can select here and they'll give you a brand new uh, Outlook email address. Outlook or Hotmail, whichever one you want. So let's just take a moment. Either log in with your existing Hotmail account or create an account. I'm not going to go step by step on creating the account. It's pretty straightforward. Just take a moment to do it. Let's give us like two minutes at the most. If you need any help, call me over and let's
Great. Raise your hand if you managed to get it to work that you logged in. Okay, good. Raise your hand if you need a little more time. Okay. I'll give you a couple more minutes, then we'll go on. Okay, so you might not be quite finished, but let me go on a little bit. Um, what we've got here is if, you, if, you, if you're able to log in, you're going to see your name on the top right corner, whatever name you set yourself up with. So I see my name there. I'm logged in. I can always get back to this address with office.com. And so from here, I have the software that I can work with. I have Word, Excel and PowerPoint, the three famous Microsoft Office software. And uh, Microsoft Office is not free. Uh, you need to go to a computer store or download it, and it costs, I don't know, at least $100, usually. Now, your computer might come with it for free. That's great. And when your computer comes with Office, it's, the, it's usually built into the price of your computer. But normally, you don't get Office for free except for this version, Office Online. This version is pretty much like those versions you can put on your computer, but it's totally free. The catch is you're, you need to log on. You need to have an internet connection. So if you don't have an internet connection, you can't use it because this is online. It has some of the features are deactivated, but like 98% of them are available to you. And so we're going to create an Excel document in a moment you can create a PowerPoint, you can create a Word document, and all of this is being saved on your free online cloud storage, OneDrive. OneDrive is, a, I think it's like 10 gigabytes for free, or maybe 5 gigabytes for free, where you can save your photos, your reports, um, pictures, documents, whatever. You can save for free your stuff in the cloud. And what's cool is if you get the OneDrive app for your phone, 
then whatever you saved on your phone, you could then automatically see it on your on your account on the website or vice versa. If you save something, if you upload to your OneDrive on the website, then you'll have it on your phone. You can auto back up your photos so that if you drop your phone in the lake, your photos got saved automatically to OneDrive. It's like Dropbox, it's like Google Drive, it's like these other iCloud. Everyone's got their own version. But I'm introducing you to this because this has got official Microsoft Office products. And sometimes in a particular job you need you need Office, you need Word. For us, we're going to create an Excel document to keep track of our of our KPI, to keep track of our statistics. So you everyone should be here. You want to click on Excel online. So click on the Excel online icon, the green one. You might get a pop-up that says, this is what's new. Just click, got it. And as you work with this, you will see on the left side, these are my recent documents. If you've got a brand new account, you don't have recent documents. I've used this account before, so it remembered my recent documents. Yours is probably empty there. But then on the right side, you've got all these great templates to quickly keep track of data. For our class, we're going to use the most basic one, but we've got these other ones that you could play with later. But we're going to use the basic new blank workbook. Click on new blank workbook. And so here we go, Excel. Just like if you had gotten Excel on your laptop, the only trick is that you're online. You may get a pop-up that tells you a couple of things. You can just close that. Now, what's also good about uh, Excel Online is that you don't need to remember to save. If you have Excel on your own laptop, and you're working on a project, and you're adding a bunch of data, and then, whoops, your battery ran out, and you never saved it, you lost your work. Here, it's going to save every time you type something. So as soon as you type something, it saves. If the power goes out, no problem. It's saved in the cloud, in your OneDrive account. It's up on the internet, and it gets saved automatically, if you've got an internet connection, of course. So that's the downside of all of this. If your internet connection goes down, and you typed a lot of stuff, and then the power goes out, you might have lost it. But we're going to use this to keep track of data throughout the course, throughout the semester. We're going to have an Instagram account, we're going to have LinkedIn, Facebook, all of these things. And all of those platforms have different amounts of data to keep track of. Followers, likes, etc. We want to keep track of that. That way we can know, I've increased my followers this week, or I've decreased followers this month. I've gotten more traffic. This tweet worked better than that tweet. It got more likes. So. At the very top, mine is called Book 1. You want to click there to rename the file. And we will call it, put your last name, Analytics. A-N-A-L-Y-T-I-C-S. Analytics. Your last name. Not Smith, unless your last name is Smith. There's no one in this class named Smith. Um, so, your last name, analytics. That's the name of this file. You don't have to put .xl or whatever. It does it automatically. And as soon as you type that, it's saved. You don't have to remember to save anything. And so the, the way we're going to use this is, if you've never used Excel before, it allows you to, to, make, to make charts to show you uh, your traffic in a graphical way when you fill in data. So here on cell A1, click on A1, and we're going to type profiles, and then press enter. This column is going to list the different profiles the social networks we're going to work with. Today we're going to start working with Instagram. So on cell A2, let's type Instagram, Instagram. Center. Eventually, we're also going to work with LinkedIn. Later on, we'll list all of the profiles, but for the moment, 
Instagram, and LinkedIn. And every week, you're going, to, you're going to update this file. This will be part of eventually of the final project. So this is one thing you're going to need to do every week from now until the end of the semester. Um, what we're going to do is every Monday at the end of the day, you're going to check a KPI a key performance indicator, which I'll explain a little later. But on cell B1, we're going to write today's date, which is August 31st. If it changes to then become 31 Aug, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, next Monday is going to be um, September 7th. So on C1, we'll write September 7th. enter. A week after that is September 14th. I'm not going to write all of them. And anyway, this is part of the assignment, so um, it shows it in here. So eventually you're going to you're going to write the Monday of every day from today till the end of the semester. We can easily look on the calendar down here if you're on Windows, if you're on the Mac. Uh, I think you can click on the date on the top right corner. Does that show you a calendar? If not, it's on the. It's going to be on the assignment. The assignment's going to tell you all the Mondays anyway. But the A column will list all of our profiles, and then B, C, D, E, etc. This is going to list every Monday from now until the end of the semester. And what you're going to do every Monday, you're going to list here whatever key metric you want to, to track. Some accounts call these likes. Some of them call them favorites. Some of them call them retweets or, or hearts or whatever. So as we learn each profile, you're going to keep track of some amount of data. For example, on Instagram, I want to keep track of my followers. Let's say today I'm going to create an Instagram brand new. So how many followers do I have? Zero. So if I was brand new on Instagram, I would have zero followers. You can use an existing Instagram in this class if you'd like. Or you can create a brand new one. We're going to create a new one together a little later. But if you want to use an existing Instagram, no problem. You can start off with your, I don't know, 207 followers, whatever you have. But I'm going to act like I'm starting brand new from the beginning, zero. We're going to learn Instagram today. We're going to learn how to use it, how to get followers. Then next Monday, whatever time you want, but maybe at the end of the day, after class, you can go back into this document and say, well, I've got four followers now. And then the next Monday after that, the 14th, you go back in and say, oh, I did a good job this week. I have 14 followers now. And so every day, every Monday, once a week for the rest of the semester, you're going to check each of your profiles. How are my, uh, how are my, how is my KPI doing? How are my analytics doing? On LinkedIn, I could, I could use the analytic of how many views I have, perhaps, or how many connections or whatever, once we get to LinkedIn. Eventually, at the end of the semester, we'll come back to this and um, we'll make a chart out of this because numbers, this data is useful, but it will look boring. I want a nice chart with colors and all of that cool stuff. We'll get to that later. If you know how to use Excel, you might set up a chart now and later on we'll, we'll talk about it together. But this will be part of this assignment where you're going to create this basic analytics template and then you're going to share the file with me and the cool thing about sharing it with me then is that once you give me the link I can check it whenever I want during during the semester and it'll automatically be updated think about if you were sending me your Excel file as an email attachment every week I'd end up with 40 files because all of you are sending me a new assignment every week well I'm gonna show you how to share in a moment 
but I'm going to have your link and I can go into the document and look at the latest version of your data whenever, whenever I want. So there's two ways to do this. So, yes? So these two can share on social media and stuff like that? You can share it on social media, yeah. You can show it on social media. You wouldn't really need to. Yeah. This is sort of like private information. But you could well, share this. Yeah. yeah, if you've got a Word document, you can write up a, a, a how, to, how to use Twitter. Mm -hmm. Write it up here on Word and then share it on Twitter. And oh. then you can get people to view it. So you can, uh, you can edit this as many times as you want throughout the semester. And notice, I haven't said anything about let's go to save it. It automatically saves it. Every time you type something, it'll automatically save. You might notice on the very bottom left for a moment it says working. See that? Working. And then it's saved. So you don't have to remember to save it. It just saves it. Anyway, to share it. I would recommend we share this right now, even though this project is not done yet. If you share it with me right now, it's one less thing you have to remember to do. On the top right corner, do you see a little share button? Click that share button, and it says, invite people to your document. Enter contacts to send an email with a link to this item. So you're going to send it to my email address. Anyone remember my email address? Close. vcampos at swccd.edu. It's on the syllabus. It's on the homework. And so here you're going to send it to me. You're going to send me a link to it, not the original file, a link to it which is very cool because you still have your original file, you keep working on it, and then I can access it whenever I want, whenever you want. I'll show you in a moment how to get back into it because when you go home, this looks amazing now, then you go home and say, how do you do it again at home? I'll show you in a moment. But let's put my email address here, and you can, uh, you can send this to 20 people if you want. You can also send it to, to John in accounting. Don't do this, but you can send it to John. You can send it to as many people as you want, and everyone will have access to it. Um, everyone will also be able to edit it. So think about this. Let's say you're writing a term paper and you're working with two people. If you share your Word document, your, your Word online document with those two people, everyone can access it and edit it together and correct it and improve it and, and all of that because we have the option recipients can edit. If you only want people to view it, you can click that and say, um, recipients can view only. So then people can look at it but not edit it. For me, you want to leave the default. For me as your instructor, you want to leave the default of edit. Because I might need to go in and, and maybe fix something that's not quite right and leave you a comment so you can get a good grade. So I'm going to leave that alone. You don't have to click it. And then on the note, well, you want to tell me that this is your assignment, so CIS25703 Analytics, oh, with your last name. Because you're all going to be turning in your work. I, I don't want to confuse your work. I want to know who to give the A plus to. So make sure you put your last name in it like that on that, on that note. <coughs> So just confirm it's spelled right, C, uh, v, v C A M P O S at S W C C D, there's two C's there, dot edu, not dot com, dot edu. The subject is this class, CIS 257, assignment number 03, your last name, analytics. And click share. So I just got that from Alex, thank you. I just got that one from someone. I got another one and another one and another one. So there you go. You just turned in your homework assignment. This will tell you, okay, you sent it to you sent it to that person, you can just close that. 
So I wanted to do this together where we, where we create this account, where we create this document, and then every Monday you're going to log in and start to keep track of some statistic, some data. You can choose what it is, likes, favorites, followers, once we learn about the profiles. Each one calls it a little bit different. You can get super complex because if you know Excel, you can create extra sheets down here where one sheet, one screen full is only about Twitter. And on Twitter, you can make all of these charts and save all of this information and get really impressive. But for us, this is all we need. Uh, on the homework assignment, which you will get in a moment, it'll list all of the profiles you need to add here. This is not all of them. We still need Twitter and all of that. So it's all in, the, in this homework that I'll give you very soon. You're going to check every Monday. You're going to update this every Monday. Obviously, if we haven't learned about YouTube until September 14th, you don't have to fill anything on those dates, or you can put zero, but just don't fill anything. And then you're going to keep track of it. Any questions so far? This is as complex as you need to get. You don't need to make a chart and such yet. You don't need to do color coding and any of that cool stuff. This is fine for the moment. Let's say you want to do this now at home. Click the Sign Out button at the top right so I can show you what you do to get back to it. Because obviously showing you here, it looks so, so easy and seamless, but when you do it, suddenly there's some bumps in the road. So click Sign Out, close this web browser. I was using Firefox. What we're going to do is use a different web browser. I was using Firefox, so I'm going to switch over to Chrome. If you were using Chrome, switch to Firefox. If you were using Internet Explorer, switch to Opera, whatever. Let's switch to a different web browser. And now let's say you're at home. Step one, we go back to the website, office.com. Go back to office.com. And remember, everything that I'm talking about and showing on my screen, I'm also recording this. So you can always go back and watch the videos again. But go back to office.com, and at the top right, click Sign In. And now everyone should be able to sign in because you've got either a brand new account that you created or your existing account. So click sign in. Sign in with your password. Sign in with your name. Well, once you log in, there's two ways to do this. You can click on Excel, and it'll show you on the left side your recent files, or you can go to OneDrive. I'm going to do it this way first. When I log in, go to OneDrive, because this is where everything gets saved. If you forget, did I make a Word document or did I make an Excel, all of it is being saved to OneDrive. So click on OneDrive. And that's going to show you perhaps pictures, music, etc. You probably got these documents saved in documents. So once this screen loads up here, if you don't see it right away, you, it's probably inside of documents. So I'm going to go to documents.
Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Campos Excel or Smith Analytics. There it is. So any of these documents that you make, Word document, PowerPoint document, Excel document, most likely it's set, it's saved in your documents folder in OneDrive. So this these are just these are folders like your regular computer. Um, and I see it right here, Smith Analytics. And then that little that little man right there shows that it's been shared. But anyway, there's there's my Excel document, and if you click it, then it loads up, and it's right back where we where you were a moment ago. So then I can keep working on it. Did everyone manage to, to bring it up again? You don't need to share it with me every time you make a change. You just share it once and it automatically updates. So you don't have to remember to click Save. You don't have to share it again. As soon as you share it with me, then I have access to it. You just work on it as normal and I will see the latest version of it. Okay, so if that worked, great. Um, time for a break. Yes. Uh, I think so. I, I got a bunch of them right now. I'll triple check in a moment in the break. Well, uh, we'll I'll check right now in the break. But uh, let's take a break, and when we come back, we'll then start to look at Instagram a little bit, and then we'll go on. So uh, it's 5.57. Let's take a 10-minute break. We'll be back at 6.07 and then we'll go on with Instagram. You can log out of this if you'd like. We're done with it for the moment.